Hi everybody, Tiffany Solorio here. I am really excited to share this layout with you guys. I am using the Salvage District Collection and it is one of my favorite collections because I can add whatever color I feel like at the moment. I Today I am adding some teal colors. Um, one layout I added purple, you can add pink, blues, and or just keep it black and gray and white if you would like as well. And it is just a gorgeous collection to have in your stash. So um, be sure to check out all of the product uh, list down below and all the links and everything will be down below as well. Okay, so let's get started. The paper I am using is number 847524 and throughout the video, if I don't say a product number, all the list will be down below. And um, I just love this paper. It has florals and just gorgeous designs and script and it's just, it's stunning paper. I love this. I always gravitate towards this paper um, when I'm doing a layout, just for a base background layout. Base background paper, I should say. Okay, so we're gonna cover the whole uh, paper with clear gesso. And a little tip, I, if I know I'm going to be using a lot of mediums um, and sprays and inks and everything like that, I will add two coats of gesso, whether it is clear or white. Um, but I'm not doing too much today, so I'm just going to add one coat. And the clear gesso is nice. It dries pretty fast and um, it just kind of protects your paper so you can build layers of sprays and inks and just different types of paste, whatever you want, so all that um, color doesn't seep in the paper. So now that the clear gesso has dried, I am going to add some clear crackle paste. I love this stuff. So I like to use a um, the silicone spatula for this because you can kind of control how much you want. And I'm just going to do it randomly because... I don't want the whole thing covered with cracks. Okay, so at this point you can let the crackle paste dry, which is um, suggested, but I find with the clear crackle paste, I am able to take my heat tool, and what I do is I hold it high up, and it gives kind of like an overall heat to the whole paper instead of holding it close and you're just going to kind of bubble up all that paste. So that's my little trick. Okay, so now we are going to add the papers on the sides and then get more of that crackle paste on the layers of papers and start um, building up our layout. So this paper, again, is from the Salvage District collection and this number is 847517 and like I said all the links will be down below for all the texture paste, the gessos and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm going to tear a piece and it definitely doesn't have to be perfect but you kind of want it in a straight line. Okay, so, so I'm gonna tear another piece which is gonna be wider, so probably, I don't know, I don't have my mat out. It's probably four inches or so, three and a half. And it doesn't really matter which way you tear it, just as long as you get those kind of rough edges. Okay, so after you tear the papers, Gonna add them to your layout and after you get them how you want. 
And I'm just going to use some Fabri-Tac. You don't want to go too close to the edges just because you're going to kind of curl them up just a tad bit just to give it a little bit more dimension. You definitely want to get enough glue on there because we're going to be adding more uh, crackle paste and if there's not enough glue then it'll definitely start um, kind of bubbling up. So again, clear gesso. Okay, so we're going to add more crackle paste. Okay, so you could see a little better where I put the crackle paste on the black paper but I doubt you'll be able to see the little cracks in there. But they're there. They'll start coming up once I add the, um, the colors. But at this point, you want to kind of pick up that paper a little bit, kind of, um, so it's not flat. So I'm gonna be using this stamp here, and it is uh, 961961, and it is Crackle. And I'm just gonna add a little bit here and there. And for this, I like to do a little bit of uh, stamping off. I'm not sure the technical, I think there's a technical word for it. Um, I think it's called second generation stamping or something, I don't know. And then if you want kind of to get it just a little bit, I kind of just curve the stamp. So that's what I like about these clear stamps is you can kind of manipulate them. Okay, so that looks good for now. I'll probably add more later, but I'm gonna add this back. Okay, so I'm gonna be adding some deep teal and I don't want a, a lot of color. I just kind of want it here and there. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these paper towels and spray on the paper towel so I get that color in that nozzle. And then spray is a little bit wet I want to add a little bit of black and doing this while it's wet will kind of just blend everything together and then you don't have to keep adding water so I'm gonna add it here just spray it and I'm using a water color brush and And then how I do this is I squeeze a little bit and then I just tap. And if you want more of a concentrated color, you just take it, the oil pastel, and right on the brush. Okay, 
Okay, so now I'm going to work on this side of my layout and I'm using these um, frames. Uh, the number is 892098. I'm going to use the little one here. Just like that. Okay, so I'm going to add some of this thread. I'm just going to kind of build my layers and then once I like how they look, I'm going to glue everything down. That works the best for me. And that's what we're going to do. So these flowers are 590000. These these ones here. And this one, I believe it was cut from a, for a different project, but that's exactly how I want it anyways. I wanted to snip off the stem and just kind of stick it in there like that. And then we're going to take some of these flowers, which is number 586416. Little one. that okay I zoomed in just a little bit just because we're kind of working in this like this middle area here and I want you guys to see um, what I'm doing and that is from the wood embellishments and the number is five eight three seven seven four and it comes with all of these and it comes with all of these little tiny hearts which I use them so much but I'm gonna use this one here. All right, so now I'm gonna start gluing everything down and just for the sake of time, I'm gonna add hot glue. I'm gonna add this one over on this side. And I don't like the leaves, so I'm gonna tear those off. So, Add that one on that side and then before I add the flowers on the frame I'm gonna take this thread and just kind of bunch it up and I, I want it to be messy so um, but I don't want it to be too messy okay I'm gonna twirl it around my fingers and then kind of smush it in the middle and then hopefully that will work okay that works for now so add this flower here just love these flowers and then this one on top of the stem just like that just like that and then it gives it a spot for your little wood embellishment or you can put it here or here or I mean you can put the title anywhere but I liked it on this side so I'm just going to add glue and stick it down. Okay, now we're going to work on this side and I'm going to add some foam adhesive on this side. You could definitely use cardboard um, to recycle. Okay, so I'm going to add some cheesecloth and you can find this um, a lot of different places. I normally buy it on Amazon just because it's kind of the best deal. This is um, how I do it when I'm um, kind of layering different things. I'm just going to add a big glob of the hot glue. The So I'm going to use these and the number for these is 590369 
And this one I'm gonna use in the corner, so I kind of cut it already from the other layout. So, And again, I'm just gonna kind of layer them how I want them and then I'll glue them down. So I'm gonna add these as well. Uh, this number is 586485. And the number for these is 586461. And I love these flowers because they're perfect kind of filler flowers and there's 48 in there. So you get a lot. And I'm gonna add this one. And I don't like all that glitter and everything. So I just kind of brush it off a little bit. Kind of picking randomly maybe mm, I might add one over here so I'll just leave it over there so I'm also going to add some ephemera and I pulled some pieces that I liked that I might use. And the number for the ephemera is 586, or five, I'm sorry, 583637. And you get all those pieces in there. Super nice. And then you also get this little, couple little bottles and then a little, couple little charms. Really nice pack. that everything is glued down. I like how it all looks and we're just gonna kind of bring it all together and gonna, you wanna protect your photo. You don't want any crazy splatters on your photo. Okay, and one of my favorites is Frost Color Bloom Spray. It's basically like gesso and water, but you don't have to mix it together and stuff, which isn't a big deal, but um, this, if you can find some frost color bloom spray, you should get it because it is perfect for splatters, white splatters. I kind of did the layout a little bit too much this way, but that's okay. You guys get the idea, I hope. And if you have any questions, please feel free to message me. And the gesso is 961374. This stuff lasts me forever because it's so thick. I love this gesso. Okay, so what I like to do is take some gesso not a lot and kind of just work it in that brush and kind of basically just take most of it off. You just want a little bit and then that's how you get that kind of dry brushed look. You don't want a really wet brush. Again, it just kind of pulls everything together Okay, and another thing that I did was I took the same brush 
and just kind of ran it on the edge. Let me get in here a little bit. And you'll see it more right here. But it just kind of finishes off the edges. And I did it all around. I won't do that now, but just so you guys can get an idea. I'll do it again on the black over here. So it pulls it all together. So, okay, so that completes the layout. I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, but I want to thank you guys so much for um, stopping by and watching this video. And I hope you guys found it helpful. And be sure to like the Facebook page, um, Prima Marketing Facebook page. Join Live with Prima on Facebook. Um, there is lots of fun things going on. Um, it is CHA time. So be sure to take a look over on the blog as well where there is so many um, sneak peeks and projects and uh, full reveals of uh, new collections and everything like that. So um, I again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Bye